everybody, Chris Farad here. Welcome back. This is XCOM 2. Uh, we've got a Destroy an Alien Relay. This is Operation Hellstorm. Uh, our potential reward is an engineer, but we're not really going for Isabel D'Angelo, which, you know, no knock against her. But uh, the dark event that this would counter is the one that's going to increase our intel cost by 100%. And that is something we can't have, as we're going to need to start expanding soon. Uh, even though it doesn't happen right away, uh, when it does happen, it would be devastating. Uh, the other potential one is to reduce our next supply drop by 50%. Um, but we're making money from our base uh, excavations. We're making... I mean, we're not actually making a huge amount monthly, so the impact, I think, is less in that regard. Um, this is the squad we're taking out. Polo, Skinner, Dumitrascu, um, Aeneas, and Gorelite. We've got upgraded weapons on a couple of these guys, and we've got grenades on the others. I'm not even bringing a, a sharpshooter because we don't have the weaponry, so they're at a bit of a disadvantage until we can upgrade that. Could make the same argument for the Grenadiers, but, um, grenades, right? Dr. Tygen has picked up a signal from a hidden alien communications relay sending data to the Advent Network from this area. Anything we can do to disrupt the aliens' logistics increases our chances of stopping their progress. We'll need to secure the area and eliminate any hostiles, then destroy the relay before they finish their transmission. Okay, so this is a small town in Advent Patrol Zone 8, outskirts of Seattle. It's nice to get out of uh, New Mexico from time to time. Relay is up ahead. Move in and destroy the target. We're in concealment. Okay, so we're dropping in. Can we try? I mean, we can use this this height advantage here. We might be better off using like the second floor of the building, uh, but getting in there is the tricky part because if we break the windows and open doors, that's a bit of a problem. So um, we could try getting up top. Let's take a little peek on, with Aeneas. I, I, if I... Ooh. Okay. If I continue to, to run like that, that will bite me in the ass one day. Like, it's Begin definitely to going to happen. Position. So I should really try not to do that. Understood. Moving out. Okay, let's just... Moving. Start to get our guys close-ish to this group. Ten four. I don't think they're going to be close enough to spot us up top there. Not moving in the right direction anyways, so the, the flank will be safe. We do have a turret here to be mindful of. It's a, it's a Viper and two troopers, which means if we can get the jump... Oh, shit. It's Viper, two troopers, a turret, a sectoid, and a stun lancer. So if we get the jump... <laughs> Great. I don't know that we can get a good jump here. Pius, unfortunately, has no shots from here. That's interesting. He would have shots from this location, though. Um... But I may have another idea. Moving. Let's move Grelite in. That's gonna spot the turret, I think. Yep, there it is. We can put Cannibal up here for now. Bring Dumitrascu in. And... I mean, we could move Skinner up to the car. Do I really want to be that close? Let's grab the tree. And then... Aeneas, let's grab this side. Yeah, let's just wait one more turn here. And then I think we engage. 
Oh, please. Go into the shadows, my friends. Go into the shadows. Uh, unfortunately, we still kind of see them. And I'm thinking that if we... Oh, it's actually... It's Polo that sees them. So if we could maybe... Get him out of sight. That could be pretty good. I'm gonna try this. Let's move Grelite up. And move Cano over. And now that group is hidden, which means maybe we can do this without them noticing. How do we want to lead this off, though? I'm liking the frag grenade idea. And then do we just overwatch? Got decent chances, but then we can't really react. I think... The other alternative is to take a massively high chance at critting this Viper. And then having them split from there. Eyes on the prize. Roger, I've got my eyes on. I think that's what we're gonna go for here. We're gonna set up the full Overwatch. And try and clear this group. The turret can't see us. We have a chance of just wiping this guy off the face of the earth. 11% chance that we don't. <laughs> There it is. That's right. Now we got a couple, a couple of troops. There we go, boys. Clean it up. Did you see that one? Oh, is he staying on the car? He's staying on the car. Oh, look at the sectoid. None the wiser, I hope. Yeah, he's none the wiser. Now, now though, they're gonna get activated, aren't they? Yep. Oh, that's cool right there. That's such a cool shot. Oh, thank God for garbage cans. I don't think so. Okay, now we do have the stun lancer up here. Do we go for the crit kill? And if we don't get it, I guess we could come up here and try and blow him off the roof. But we would run the risk of knocking our guy off, too. Alright. Let's start from the back here. We've got a sectoid, which isn't our main priority. Funny enough, this trooper is pretty much our main priority. Bring Grelite in next to the car. Here we go. Now put this close to the turret, but we're in full cover. We have aid protocol potentially. Depending on how things shake out here. I think we gotta go for the crit. Problem. He's got the scope. Come on now. There it is. Oh, that is dirty. Only the best. And then. Now we try and deal with this sectoid. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna go in here with Tudor, knowing full well what we've learned from the Sectoids that they're gonna prioritize their psionics, and we might be able to just flank him and do enough damage to wipe him out. Yeah, he's like, oh shit. Of course he lives. Of course he lives! Why wouldn't he? Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna suppress just in case he goes for the shot. And then... I'm actually not sure how I want to handle this turret. That's going to be a real pain in the ass to try and get past. You know what? I think what we're going to do is we're going to start trying to shoot it from here. We've got upgraded weapons. There we go. So we're dishing out a little more damage than previously. Oh, I don't think so. There it is. Nice job. Yeah, well-deserved promotion as well. Shit, Krellite. Taking fire over here. Okay, we got it. Oh. Okay, so we have vision of it soon enough. Soon-ish. I'm a bit worried that we might trigger something here. I mean, 83 is not bad. With, even with 6, it takes them out if we hit. There we go. Good riddance. Whatever you say. Okay. Aeneas. Would love to have you in friggin' concealment right now. Ho ho! Really good for these kind of missions. Sure thing. Let's get a reload in on Polo. Head into that location. Reload on Daug. Let's even reload Pius. Is this all here? Locked and loaded. The alien transmission is still active and we're running out of time. Get oh, to the I'm relay and take it well out. Well aware there, Bradford. Well aware. Confirmed. Fucking handle it. Oh my god, like we are really. This is really tight. Absolutely. Okay, been on Tavix. Position confirmed. This is really tight. The thing is, is what like it's only six damage, right? So like one shot from our shotgun is all it really takes, which means Oh Gorelite. You're gonna be one away. So you know what? I'm gonna move you that one. Hey, that's affirmative. Fuck, that scared me. <laughs> affirmative! Oh, oh, we're we're in in the scanning. Okay, Grellite. Let's get you in here. Objective position confirmed. Oh, look, we got a little sectoid action. Let's take this thing out. Goodbye. 
see the sectoid. Run and die. Inbound. Okay. Menace one five. We've confirmed destruction nope. Sectoid's of the alerted. Way. The alien transmission is down. Eliminate any remaining hostiles and move to evac. Have guys on advent troops. And two stunnies. Okay. Well, we brought the flashbangs. Got people coming in. They've decided to just sit back there, which maybe we can punish. Roger that. Yeah, we might be able to do some damage here. The only thing is we can't say for certain what we're gonna hit. And then it does provide a little bit more of a direct path. Did we not see reinforcements coming in here? Am I just tripping out? Pretty sure we saw that. Not a problem. Was ist da drüben? Seems doable. Okay. The only thing I don't like about this is it gives them a more direct path towards us instead of running all the way around. But I mean, they can, I guess they can just hop through the windows anyway. So what does it matter? Get ready for a surprise. Okay, great. We hit all three. And now, the problem is we can't get a flashbang on them. A little far away. Let's see what's on this tower. Sometimes you can get some crazy ones. Oh, this just alloys, baby. <laughs> Damn it, that doesn't help us at all. Alright, so I think we just overwatch. And let's throw... He's got six health. The maids has five. Let's throw aid protocol on him. He's also half cover, Grelite's full. Come the reinforcements. That's going to take our Overwatch shots instead of the stun lancers. I've got eyes on We're really close. You might be able to take one down. Who's shooting first, boys? Somebody make a decision. Whoa! <laughs> okay, they each hit one. It looked like he's... That was actually pretty funny. <laughs> he's learned how to... Oh my god. Oh, we are in trouble. Do not! Oh no. Okay, shoot back. Stay where you are and shoot back. Nice dodge. I'm alright. We're gonna need we're gonna have another one storming at us here. Oh, that is not the greatest position, but Oh Okay, great, thanks. Thanks, Sectoid. That's mag weapons upgrade, baby. Wow. 
Now one more stun lancer. Come on. Alright, well. He's alive. At least. I just go do that then. Alright. What's our exit strategy here? Uh, what I can do, and actually this is a pretty good option, is we're going to send in Revival Protocol on Grelite so that we can at least use him. And we can still take a shot on this flanked uh, Stun Lancer over here with our Specialist. Skinner. Let's see what you got. That's not what I had in mind. Not at all. That car's about to go, too. Okay, so we're disoriented, so we can't hit anything. Um... This guy worries me a lot. Move on, Let's just grab location. some cover. Come on, 63, Tudor. 63. Yes. Okay, and I mean, Grelite, this isn't a bad spot to be. Because they don't see us I'm in ready. here. 80% chance to hit this guy. I mean, that feels good. There it is. It's down! Now, we've got a flashbang. And we've got grenades still. We can come down here for a flank on the sectoid. Although he's not, like, a huge priority target right now, that mech is really the pain in the ass. Oh, he's behind friggin' plants! Alright. And I don't know... ...that this is gonna do a whole lot. I mean, this is our best attempt, I think. Need a light? Keep your eyes closed. Kind of depends on what that mech is going to do. He may just launch rockets here, and we might lose Dumitrascu. I mean, we could take the 50% shot from here. Because the Overwatch isn't going to give us a lot, I don't think. And Suppression isn't going to give us a whole lot on him either. It all comes down to this mech. What is this mech going to do? I have a feeling I know what he's going to do. Oh, he's coming through the door! Shit! Oh, shit! Oh, damn it. Oh, 
Damn it. Grellite's down. I honestly didn't think he would come through there. I thought he would make this target with his rockets. Down here. Shit. Okay, well, on the plus side, that mech's over there. I think we should try and take out what we can around him. Catch! Hello. Just absorbs so much damage. On my way. There, wow. Mega crits. What did you expect? Hey, we got loot here. Um, those stun lancers are going to be coming in. There's no question about that. Let's bring Polo over to protect. Whatever you say. Let's bring Skinner in to protect. You know what? Let's actually take the heal. I'm pissed about Grellite, man. I'm pissed about it. Lost a good one. That was close. I mean, they're trying to shoot us through a wall. I fully expect this to be... Okay. This is not going to go well. Come on, buddy. Where is it? Nada. Oh. Oh. Fucking Tudor's taking shit right now. Getting a little toasty here. You're fine. The stun wore off, but he took the damage. Let's keep going for these. Okay, let's send that heal back out. Gremlin medical detail. I think we can take down the sectoid. Hmm. Brain is back. Other way, thank you. <laughs> Okay, now let's see if we can't take down the sectoid. Well, how about that? And then we just need a good eye over here. I think move. our angle from here is going to be better. And I thought wrong. No, nope, maybe not. We can get him. Might not die. But it's one trooper, and I don't think he can kill any of our soldiers. And we didn't kill the civilian. Which 
Objective complete. Uh, I'm a little disappointed about Grelate, because, like, I feel as if it was avoidable, but, like, I just felt, ah, uh, that was a, yeah, I mean, that sucks, but it is what it is. He's gone. But holy promotions, Batman. Let's see if, uh, Skinner can't I'll pick this up. It. That was a tough mission. Here he goes. Yeah, that was good. We lost a good one. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Lost a good one, Grelite. That's tough. I think we should name uh I think we should name a gun after him. Maybe on the um Maybe on Skinner who got like the the killing blow. Or maybe we should do name the gun after the person who kills the enemy that kills our soldier. Um, so that would be Aeneas. We would name it, we would name his gun, uh, Grelite, because Aeneas critted the friggin' mech. It's sad, like, I'm, like, I'm disappointed. Ugh. I mean, it's gonna happen. We're gonna lose people, you know? We're gonna lose them. It's a tough one. Um... Dumitrascu got promoted. We're gonna need to start grabbing Shredder, man. Those enemies are gonna get tough. Um... Aeneas, let's grab Conceal. And Cannibal. Uh, definitely heavy ordnance right now. More grenades. Grelade is gone! We got a stock. If that's any consolation, which it's not. Turret breakdown. Um, yeah, okay. As it says here, we may be able to integrate the technology to improve our chances of defending against UFO attacks. We got the engineer. Let's go ahead and check out his weapon here. I'm gonna name it Grelite for avenging him. Let's not equip the stock just yet. Let's go to the memorial. Oh look, we got some drinkers. Grelite is down. Advent mech. Meg cannon. I'm gonna try it. We're gonna have our soldiers, like, teach us things as they go to the grave. Doors do not equal safety. It's too bad. Alright. Let's see, where do we want this engineer? We could put them on power, or I think what we do is, uh, we start here. Very nice. 90 days for these. Are you kidding me? That's wild. That is wild, man. Okay. The aliens have dealt a significant blow. But, we're not stopping. So, um, we could probably get both of these before the end of the month. I want to secure the income before we grab intel, potentially. Alright, so that's one room cleared. Maximum power consumption reached. That's very good. Um... I think what we'll do is throw you in here. Keep excavating, that'll knock it down to half.
Welcome to the fight. That's cool. Only of the resistance. So we get a lot of new income from that. Let's head back Avengers to scan for intel. I do not think I could have predicted nice. this outcome. Though it is intriguing. The aliens make a strong statement by fielding these massive creatures as their frontline combat units. I doubt they thought anyone would resist when faced with the alternative of staring down a muton. So this is nice because we can build the advanced grenade launcher. Uh, we can also research or do the plasma grenade in the proving ground, which will be our very first possible thing. Uh, stun lancer autopsy is now instant, which the is Advent nice as well. The stun lancer was apparently outfitted with the intention of serving as a civilian peacekeeping unit within the city centers. Although they are equipped with weapons capable of administering non-lethal blows, recent reports indicate an increasingly aggressive stance taken by these units. Although Advent clearly intended for these units to be their means of dealing with any unruly civilians within the city centers, it seems they have come to rely on more brutal means of pacification in the time since. <laughs> yeah, I would agree with that. So we have an arc blade available if we want it. Uh, next thing. Let's see. Plated armor. We need more alloys. We're a little short there. I think what we should do is maybe go Gauss weapons. Uh, do we need the mech? The advent mech breakdown... That gives us the better gremlin upgrade, I think. So that could be helpful. Increases our hacking. Yeah, maybe. I think we should go for weapons, though. Get everybody on the same I'll page. That work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. So we're a little short on alloys, but it only takes 80 supplies to upgrade the grenade launcher. We're going to check to see if we can get I alloys. See if any of the troops have been keeping count on alien kills. Might <laughs> Yeah, might be a useful recruiting Avenger tool, you're right? New course. Market is open. Okay, so uh, we can buy alloys. 50 intel. It's a lot. But, uh, we're doing it. Upgraded grenade launchers. Pretty significant improvements. Hello, Commander. There we go. Avenger plotting new Go back course. and try to pick up this intel. If it's 50 or more, then we're net neutral on the intel span, right? Oh, actually, this is pretty good for us. Uh, we could use the supplies. Let's view the location here. Operation Star Wheel. <laughs> Raid the Advent Train. Let's get into it. Okay. So we're going to raid the train. We're definitely going to take out our grenadiers with uh, with their sweet new grenade launchers here. Very cool. Check that out. Yeah, looks nice. And he's carrying uh, three grenades, if I'm not mistaken. He's got heavy ordnance, so whatever grenade he's carrying in this grenade slot is uh, doubled. So that's cool. We're going to go ahead and bring... Another Grenadier, because of the upgraded uh, launcher. Except we need to we need to just change your weapon up just a little bit. It's a little bland, you know. Let's go blue. And we do have a stock available to put on somebody. Don't know that we want to though. Let's see. 
Um, are sharpshooters? I don't know. Let's let's bring Aeneas. Let's check something actually. I think it's uh, I always forget here, but I believe it's Captain. Yeah, so we're getting close. We can almost get our sixth squad mate here. All these other things are great. It's just that we're a little bit tight on funds. So let's autofill here and just maybe work from there. Um, so Cannibal's in. Pius is in. I'm thinking we bring in our other Grenadier here. And let's see. Skinner was doing work with the healing. Might not be a bad option to keep in there. This would give us five grenades to deal with. A couple of flashbangs and a uh, med kit. The only thing is we only have two upgraded weapons. So maybe I want to bring another... Another ranger. Just for like, just for damage output. But if it's a supply raid, we have a lot of like open space to deal with normally. So let's stick with, let's stick with Locksleaf for now. Yeah, I think this is what I'll do. Anyways, this is going to be Operation Star Wheel, raiding the Advent Train with Andromeda, Polo, Aeneas, Locksley, and Skinner. Wish me luck, guys. See you next time. Bye. you once knew is no more. Earth is now ruled by the Advent Coalition and their alien masters.